Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I'm going to show you how you can display a 3D model on your UI canvas in Unity. Let's get into it. So firstly, we need to drag and drop a model into our scene. Set the position to be 0, 0, 0. I'm going to set the Y rotation to be 180. You'll see why in a second. Then you want to go to your main camera, make sure it has a depth of something like 10. You'll see why in a moment. Then in your hierarchy, right click, go to camera. Set the position to be 0, 0, 0. Now let's do a Z of minus 2 and a Y of 1. And we can see our little Pikachu. We'll do 0 0.5 so it's centered. Now, when you're in your camera, go up here to where it says layer. Click on it and click on add layer. You're going to want to make a layer for your Pikachu. So we're going to call it Pika layer. Save it and go back to your Pikachu model. And then click on layer and go to Pika layer. And if it asks, you can say yes in children. After that, go back to your camera. And for the clear flags, you want to do solid color. For the background, you want to do something that's got an alpha of zero if you want it to be transparent. For Cullen mask, click on it and click on nothing. And you'll see the Pikachu's gone. Now just click on Pika layer or whatever the layer is that your model's on. And as you can see, it's now only going to render anything on the Pika layer. This is great. Now save your work. Go into your assets folder, go to create and make a render texture. Call it Pika text or whatever you want. The size doesn't matter for now. We'll keep it the same. All of these settings you can keep the same and make sure they're the same as what you see here. Then for depth stencil format, click on it and go to none. This could be called something different in older versions of Unity. Save your work. Go to your camera and where it has target texture, drag and drop your texture that you made, your render texture I should say, onto it. Then you save your work. Now, right click, UI, Canvas. We need to make a canvas to display our 3D object on the canvas. And in your canvas, you right click, go to UI, and go to Raw Image. Raw Images let us display render textures. Then what you want to do is you want to drag and drop your Pika text into the texture for the raw image. And as you can see, it's got a transparent background, which is great. Then if we scroll out a bit, we can see the Pikachu on our canvas. So we'll do one more thing. We'll go right click, go to UI and go to image and we'll set the color to be something like red and we'll just slot it behind the Pikachu like this. And as you can see, we now have a 3D model on our UI canvas. So if we click play, as you can see, we've got the original Pikachu here, and then we've got the Pikachu on our UI canvas. And as you can see, it renders only the Pikachu, which is great. So let's say we go into our scene view, and we stop playing, and then we drag and drop a Charizard into the scene. And we set its position to be the same as the Pikachu. And then we go to our game view. As you can see, the Charizard is clearly blocking the Pikachu, but because it's not on the same layer, we only render the Pikachu. But if we change the layer of the Charizard to be Pika layer and then hit save, as you can see, Pikachu is stuck inside of Charizard. But anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.